We like the toys. We like monitors. What's up party people? Back again with some more figure reviews here in the Too Good Cotton Universe. My name is Party Pete and today we're taking a look at the NECA Real Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Foot Soldier 2 Pack Walmart exclusive. This one includes a weapon rack and um, just a ton of accessories. So we're going to get right into it. If you like what we're doing here at the channel, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, tell me what you think of the of the videos, not the videos. Um, if you haven't checked out the other video before this one with the turtles, check that one out. Pretty good video, not the best. I haven't been reviewing figures for uh, too long and I took an extended break. So yeah, need a little practice, but today, we're kind of relaxed. We're we're back in our element. We want to take a look at these figures. Uh, very reminiscent of the actual team and T box. I have them right over here, actually. So boom, here's an empty box, for example. Uh, but yeah, it is the first movie poster. We got the turtles peeking out from the, from the sewer, and the skyline in the background. Uh, again, Nickelodeon logo here in the front. Nice big window to see everybody and all the stuff in there. Team NT at the top, NECA, Real Toys, let's go to this side real quick, One Foot Soldier, there we go, NECA logo, Team NT logo, other side, the other Foot Soldier, same deal, here we go in the back, more pictures, more poses, description, go ahead and pause it right here if you'd like to read that, there you go. Uh, that weird NECA logo right over there. Uh, over here on the bottom. More logos. Don't put it in your mouth. UPC. And all these fine people right over here that made this possible. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Packaging's good. We're gonna crack right open. Crack. Crack right into it. Get right in. I don't know. All right, so if anybody's curious, actually, no, there's no cool uh, Foot Clan or Foot Lair or whatever. Same old thing in the background. It is just the sewer lair. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Here are the Foot Soldiers in all their glorious plastic packaging. You see they have two extra set of hands. They got an extra bandana thing in the back. Uh, I got a couple of nunchucks. We have the banded ones with the leather with the metal studs i should say the regular ones we got a tonfa we got some size a sword an axe a staff and then in the back we have the weapon the weapons rack you can see that right there i'm gonna go ahead and get these guys out and again much like the turtles i took these out earlier before i did the review because yeah they have all these like little tiny bands. I wish I kept one. Okay, so we're gonna get a closer look at the foot soldiers right over here. So kind of like the turtles, they're a mixture of rubber, uh, some soft good material, and overall just regular plastic. So uh, paint and de and detail look really cool on these. You can see they even got the bug eyes right. Um, the air holes in the mask look really good. Here is the soft goods I was talking about. This actually has this band right over here around the waist. You can't really move it. But it goes all the way around that black band. Um, rubber material right over here for the little sash. Rubber material up here for the bandana. Hard plastic for the gauntlets right over here on the hands. But it does move, actually. Check it out. They move around. They're not just in there. Uh, feet, everything else, just regular plastic. Same thing with this guy. There's not a lot of difference between these two. Let's see? They're pretty much just two of the same figure. They got the same sash around their, their waist. Same gauntlets, pretty much. Take a look at that detail and shading. And I, I don't even know what this symbol is right here, but... It's not the same symbol? No? No, I don't know. Maybe it means Foot Clan in Japanese. I don't know. Looks pretty cool, though. 
See, a really good job with the paint applications on these guys. The sculpt is really good as well. Um, not too much difference between the two of them, from what I can tell. I'm not necessarily put them under a microscope, but yeah, there they go. So, again, really highly detailed figures from NECA. All right, get, getting into articulation. So, these figures, specifically the foot soldiers, are kind of touted as having extra articulation like they even mentioned double jointed knees on the packaging themselves uh, so we're just going to take a look and see what we can do with these so yeah head tilts up pretty well it's like they got a dual joint right here so we have one joint for the neck and then one for the head individually causing them to look up and look down pretty well there we go uh, shoulder hmm so kind of obstructed from the sleeve right over here. Let me see if it bends out. Yeah, it does bend out. So there's like a ball joint in there. Kind of comes out. No butterfly. Elbow. Elbow's pretty good. Not bad. Goes up and down. Uh, the wrist. Oh yeah, the wrist bends in pretty well. Probably not going to bend back too much because of the gauntlet. No... Ab crunch though, but the hips kind of swivel side to side, they move. Now let's take a look at the leg and the kick. Nah, pretty decent kick. None of the legs bill out that way. Like they don't have like a ball joint in there for you to pull them out and do a karate kick. And then here is the double joint. Okay, so it says double joint on the package, but this joint is super tight right here. I am not gonna risk hurting this figure doing that. Let me try on the other leg. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna let Trey, who once again uh, provided the figures for this review, try that one. And then here's the ankle right there. Uh, no rocker, just simple up and down joint right there for the ankle. Okay. Alrighty, so in addition to having the figures and of course the Many, many accessories. This also comes with a weapons rack. Uh, pretty simple rack. Kind of looks like they took their time to make it look like it was made out of wood or something like that. Pretty simple. Looks like something you could actually get at Ikea. So, I'm not sure whether or not that was a little tongue-in-cheek on their part. Uh, accessories. You got a whole lot. I'm going to take them out of the tray real quick. And I really like this tray, by the way. More people should do this. Every single accessory is housed in a tray, and they all fit where they need to fit. This is awesome. And I know this is not part of, like, the figures themselves, but uh, packaging is really cool. Or big with me. Um, I like when there's some innovation there. So, again, they have some bandana stuff that you can change out right over here. Speaking of bandana stuff, you got to be careful with both the hands and the bandana stuff when you remove these. Uh, I had a couple of hands actually come loose out of their joints when I was reviewing the turtles and posing them and stuff like that. Um, you got to be careful. So they have some splayed out hands. They've got some hands that um, can hold weapons. Let me get those. Yeah, that's a weapon hand right there. And then, of course, they're using their fist hands right now, what they're using. There you go. So I'm making fist. You look angry. Uh, let's see what else. The accessories in here. The weapons. Now these are cool. So the nunchucks with the studs on them naturally have a metal chain on there. That's pretty dope. I like that. That's a very, very cool choice for that. Here are the regular nunchucks. Reminiscent of Michelangelo's. They're got like a little pliable wire right there in the middle that allows you to pose it. Very neat. Uh, we've got the we've got the big old baton right over here. Come on now. Get on out of there. There we go. Not as detailed as Donatello's, but still pretty cool. We got the tonfa right here. Riot stick, whatever you want to call it. This cool looking axe. Kind of reminiscent of the of the video game actually. Those axe carrying foot soldiers. Very nice. And then of course we got some Psy. Or size. I don't know what you need. Very good paint on all these, actually. Very little flash. And here is the sword. 
There you go. Okay. See, overall, very good package for, again, 50 bucks. Walmart exclusive. Highly doubt you'll find these anymore. But they do a rerun. That's how much they cost. That's where you can get them. You should definitely try them out. So articulation's done. Accessories are done. Uh, let's take a look and see what the weapons rack looks like with all the weapons and stuff inside of there. Let's see how this holds up. Alrighty, so here's the weapons rack with all the weapons in there. Um, you kind of have to get creative because there's no little slots for like the little handheld weapons in there. The only other figure that I've ever reviewed or owned that has a weapons rack is going to be the snake, uh, deluxe snake eyes from Hasbro Pulse. So check that video out if you haven't seen it. That was a good review too. Um, and that had spaces and hooks for all the little stuff right over here. This one doesn't. So, yep, there you go. You're just going to be dropping the little stuff all over the place. Of course, the axe, the sword, and the baton fit on there pretty well, but everything else is kind of eh. Not really gonna, not really gonna work. Taking a look and height and scale of these guys. So these guys run about seven inches tall, according to this tape measure. Uh, let's put them next to some of the turtles right over here. So here he is next to the worst turtle, Donatello. And yeah, they they do kind of tower over. Uh, the turtles. So yeah, there you go. We'll put them right in front of there. Let's so you can see that foot soldiers are taller than the turtles. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Uh, but yeah, looks good. And they actually do scale body-wise with these guys uh, pretty well. As compared to Marvel Legends Deadpool, who looks like a dwarf next to this dude over here. And of course the Red Ninja from G.I. Joe Classified, who also looks like a dwarf compared to the foot soldier. There they are next to the T-800 from Terminator 2. Uh, yeah, they work as far as scale goes. Both figures are seven inches. Same shoulder length almost, or width. Arm length looks pretty much on point. Legs and everything else. Yeah, so if you've got more NECA figures, if you got the turtles, these guys go pretty well with everybody. Just don't expect them to splash them in with other uh, toy lines, fortunately. All right, guys. So overall, these are pretty solid figures. I definitely like the details and everything else that went into the paint. Articulation, again, for these NECA figures is not super great. And I figured, you know, them being ninjas, they might be a little bit more bendable, a little bit more flexible. But alas, no, not really. Uh, they're just kind of there. The weapons rack is a nice touch. The only thing I don't like is that you don't have a space for all the little weapons on there. They just gotta hang off the side and look, I just dropped another side right there. So yeah, not too cool. Uh, so yeah, not as, not as good as I like them to be. I mean, I guess for 20, you're getting two figures for $50 that are 25 bucks each. Yeah, that's okay. The hands are a nice touch. The bandana is a nice touch, but I mean, if you have the turtles, you might as well get these guys. If you see these on the shelf and you don't have anything else from the series, avoid, avoid, avoid. Wait for something better or just, I don't know, pre-order something else. Go, go another route. Um, these again are unavailable to buy in Walmart stores, but hopefully NECA does rerun and we'll get some more figures coming out from the movie line. Uh, so anyway, guys. That's going to be the review. Stay tuned for the posing, and then I'll switch out the hands and I'll put weapons on these guys. Again, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe. Um, this is video number two of this week, and I'm not sure exactly how many videos we're actually going to do, but, uh, you know, stay tuned, and hopefully you guys like what we're doing here, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay healthy. Peace.